So if you don't have space, you could actually do this. These are all on a palette. Oh, I'm so jealous of this tree because my own mango tree has no flowers whatsoever. Has no, like, oh, there's a toad. If you don't spray your place, if everything is organic, you get such vistas. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I am Sarah Pedun and today I'm at my sister's place. This is Lois's house, it's beautiful. Let me show you around so you can witness the beauty with me. Let's go. Look at all these containers. So that's my sister Lois over there. This is her lovely, lovely place. When I'm bored of my garden, I come and enjoy hers. Hearing the birds. Oh, I feel like I'm I feel like I should whisper. So this is what you see. This side. And the side. Isn't it amazing, guys? When you love plants and you inspire your neighbor to 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 plant some plants. If you've watched my videos, you see that I have this also creeping in front of my door. I got a cutting from this plant. This is the mother plant. And it has formed a total bush here. And down here we have these plants. The crotons, hibiscus. I don't know this. Rosemary. I don't know, this is a lemon. Let's what is this? Orange or lemon? Orange. Orange. There's one you've harvested already. Is it this one? This one. So this she has already harvested. All the beautiful and delicate flowers. Palms. Mango. Roses. Bougainvilles. Guys, I don't even know what to show you right now and what to leave. Look at these beans. She's leaving them to dry so she can get more seeds. Um, and it's growing in this small polythene bag. I think with planting, you can plant in anything. You just have to be creative. So many plants here. So many. I've taken seeds from this plant and I have it at home. It always has some seeds, always has some peppers growing in it. And look at this area. This used to be her hub place. I think she changed it a bit. I'm seeing pineapple, mint, oregano, strawberries. These are cane palms she planted from seed. She has quite a lot. This, she got a cutting from me. I have a mother plant at home. She got the, the cuttings from my plant. She planted this and it's creeping. It's really growing. It's going to her window. I guess she'll have to cut it down. I don't know what she's going to do about this one. Yes, look. The containers that are here. I don't know how many. How many containers do you have up here? Can you estimate? Like a hundred. 
over a hundred guys. I plant a lot, but I don't have this many containers. This is a good idea. Shelves for people who don't have space. Like you see, she has limited space, but she grows almost as much as me. And yet my space is a bit bigger. So over here she has strawberries. She has peppers. Let me just turn the camera. This is the view of these containers. I can see purple or papaya. Uh, three tomatoes, chilies, strawberries, our favorite. More chilies. Rosemary. Lavender. More strawberries. Guys, strawberries, if you're in Uganda, you know strawberries are so expensive. So if you can grow one for yourself, well done. These flowers are so beautiful. I need to take a cutting today. She has some down there. Beautiful flowers. This is beautiful. It's bright orange. It's like calendulum. I don't know. But it's not beautiful and then lemongrass oh what's this lemon tangerine this is a tangerine and it's happy here this is a breadfruit more peppers rosemary Let me reach here. Roses. As you can see, she has planted in different things. Beautiful containers from jerry cans to paint buckets, polythene bags. If you want to plant something, you can plant it in anything, in a shoe, anything. Pineapples. Oh my god. What has she planted here? What is this? Is this bok choy? I think this is bok choy and she's not here. I could have asked her. This is amazing. And down here she has some jerry cans. And that's her cloth line. Absolutely inspiring. So, let's all agree, it doesn't matter the space you have. It doesn't matter the space. You can always plant something. Okay, this place open. <laughs> Ay. So this is corn growing in the grow bugs. Can I call them grow bugs? And they're, going, they're doing quite well. Over here is a passion fruit. Uh, this is potatoes. In Uganda, it's commonly known as Irish potatoes. And I see tomatoes, peppers, black eyed peas, tomatoes. Wow.
So this is a root. It's so huge. And let me show you where it's growing. This is where it's growing. She made a raised bed. There is some polythen. This is polythen. There's polythen down so the roots don't go down. But that did not affect the plant. It's humongous. It's very big. So this is how you can maximize your space. Okay, she needs to fix that. Guys, look at that. This is her clothesline and that's where the plants are. And she has her little walkway here. Isn't that amazing? Oh my. Lois, huh? you didn't transplant this tr these flowers. I'm going to take one of this. I put in water. You have so many. Look at this little area has very many plants. Very many plants, just this area. So this is how you can really utilize your little space. This is her back door. And this is what you see when you go to her back door. And up there, this is a ladder. That takes you up there. And there are gardens up there as well. Let's climb it. Okay. Okay. Oh. There's lots of basil. Basil seedlings. I don't have basil. I need to take some. Maybe I'll steal some. of basil look that's where I'm coming from <laughs> I don't know if you poked holes in those jerry cans but they are full I don't know if she forgot I should go back and tell her so if you saw these trees you know at my place we've got lots of seedlings like this. She got some and hers are doing just fine. Look at the neighbor's bananas. The broken bucket. I don't really mind it. It's it's beautiful. Tomatoes and red cabbage. Beautiful flower. So if you have been procrastinating on planting anything, I hope today's video inspires you to do so. Someone once said an excuse, like if you keep saying, I, I, I really want to do this, but I can't because of A, B, C, D, that an excuse is just a well-planned lie. So stop with the excuses and plant something if you really want to. I hope this video has inspired you in one way or the other. You know, if you want the fancy tins, if you want, if you can, the polythene bags, paint buckets, literally anything. I have enjoyed my time here, but I have to go now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.